you are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. <laughs> I'm just playing with you guys. What's up? It's Ryan from ZenFX, and man, I know I've been taking a long time to make this video, but it's finally here. Full circle scalp, and we're going to go over uh, just the basics of it. I'm going to break it down into a couple easy to digest modules because it's really not that complex, and I think that's what my issue was, was I was trying to overcomplicate it, and I got too in my head about trying to make this uh, just amazing presentation, but in reality, it's it's very straightforward and I want to be able to get all of the concepts down and to you guys so that uh, everybody that's already been joining us in our live trading rooms can have a good solid foundation going forward and uh, we can get these pips so without further ado if you haven't already done so go ahead and grab a uh, grab a pen and a and a piece of paper and you know let's get going let me turn down the ones and the twos and if you don't already know we have our live trade rooms and trade analysis rooms going on five times a week over at ZenFX I put the links in the description of the video come over to our Facebook page and uh, become a member uh, I mean we give away so much free value it's unbelievable stuff that other people are gonna be charging you like five hundred dollars a thousand dollars you know to do we do all that stuff for free because you know you know what my motto is uh, it should you know the only thing that should cost you money is a bad trade <laughs> right so and uh, you know as of the time of this recording we're doing it five days a week it might change in the future but for right now we're doing our surgical scalping live rooms and that's on Monday Wednesday nights, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, that's to help you go through your basic breakdown of trying to find your pairs that you're going to be watching to do your surgical scalping if you're a fan of that method. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out the videos that I've already posted on um, surgical scalping. It's an amazing scalping method that I personally developed. It's my own uh, signature method and uh, you know it, uh, it can grab you 55 to 85 pips in a single trade um, easily easily um, our first our full circle scalping trade rooms which is what we're going to be going over today that's Tuesday and Thursday mornings in New York session at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and we just go through everything as far as how to draw your supply and demand zones how to draw your support and resistance levels you know doing your top-down analysis and it's just we do the same thing over and over and over again just trying to make you guys absolute monsters in the market because I can explain these methods until I'm blue in the face and I've done it many times already and I can I can talk you to death but it, it's really not gonna click for you until you get in the markets and you get in the charts and you start marking them up and you start taking trades on a demo account and you start seeing it in action okay no left side of the chart markups is going to make you a financial superstar overnight it's just not gonna happen okay we gotta get in there and take these trades live and I'm one of the few people that does do this live in front of you because I have no shame as far as I don't care if I lose a trade or I win a trade because I'm gonna do both no matter what right and so are you don't don't be afraid of entering the markets and taking trades there's too many people out there that are gonna show you the left side of the chart I can do that all day long I could show you a million uh, trades that coulda woulda shoulda happened okay Forex is very easy to teach in hindsight it's extremely easy to teach in hindsight it's it's taking live trades in a live trade room and going forward that's the mark of an actual trader and if your current teacher isn't doing that yeah just think about that anyways let's keep going so our and our weekly harmonic markup uh, rooms are Sunday nights at 8 p.m. we have our uh, first lady harmonic resident harmonic expert she'll come in and she does a, a kind of an overall weekly analysis a breakdown of the charts shows you some harmonic patterns that are setting up and uh, it's just real fascinating to watch her work give you kind of a game plan going into the next week you know and like I said all the links for those are in the video description so join us anytime those are all free we do those because we're going to do them anyway, so you might as well join us and get some experience with some trades. 
Here's your standard risk disclaimer for Forex trading. I have to show that uh, because obviously past performance is not indicative of future performance and there is a lot of inherent risk in Forex, especially if you're learning from the wrong person, if you know what I mean. Oh, all right. This module is going to be quick and I'm, I'm going to try and break these down. Past modules have been a little bit lengthy. I want to break this down into more bite-sized uh, sections so that you can uh, just watch these, uh, you know, in little, you know, little, like they're like the little Snickers bite size that you get on Halloween. Okay, not a full Snickers bar, just a little, just a taste. You can have one, one at breakfast, one at lunch, and one at dinner. So I've already ruled the disclaimer. We're going to talk about the setup of full surgical scalp, uh, full circle scalping, and then um, we're going to talk about the analysis, the, you know, the concepts involved, the rules, the, you know, all, ugh, all the dry stuff, you know, the structure. Let's get the structure put in place. And if you've already watched module, you know, all of the modules in module two, then all we're really doing is I'm going to show you how we're taking all of those methods that we've already learned. We've got our hyper scalping, which is our market structure. We've got our EMA scalping, which is our trend bias and our dynamic structure. And then we've got uh, PIPO scalping, which is just, you know, an extra method of confirmation. We bring those all together and we bring all those tools to bear upon an M15 or an M5 chart. And it's going to make you absolutely lethal in the scalping market, right? Or in the scalp, you know, in the market as a scalper, if that's what you choose to do. Okay. So let's continue on. So the setup is very easy as far as what we're going to be, do, you know, what kind of indicators we're going to be working with. Really, the only thing that you're going to need to add on is going to be just the EMAs. So the time frames are going to be the M15 and the M5. We will obviously be zooming out to higher time frames to set our support resistance levels. We'll talk about in a little bit. Indicators that you're going to use, uh, the only ones that I use, it's totally up to you, but the ones that I'm going to be showing you today are the, um, the 10 SMA and then the 14, the 50, and the 200 EMAs. Because at the, you know, at the 15 minute and especially the five minute time frame, it's really all, all that you're going to need. Anything larger than that, if you got 800 SMA on there, you're probably not even going to see it. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, rolling on. I mean, you might, but it, it's rare. So, like I said, the concepts that we're going to use are concepts we have already learned. Okay, you already know these things if you've gone through all the modules in module two. We're going to be using our moving averages. Those are our dynamic support and resistance, you know, or our trend, our market sentiment, if you will. Not to be confused with, you know, fundamental analysis market sentiment, but we just need to know, you know, which way, give, let us know what direction price is generally moving in. What, you know, what's price feeling like doing today? Is it feeling like going in uh, bullish or bearish, you know? Then we have our structure which is going to be our horizontal support and resistance and that's based off of us looking left and seeing where has price struggled in the past and then we're going to look at our supply and demand zones which are just built on top of those support and resistance lines because that's going to be give us our like our wick depth if you will that's going to tell us um, where can price go based on you know where it's struggled in the past and then we do use trend lines every now and then it's not completely essential but you know, if we see market structure making definite higher highs, higher lows, you know, lower highs, lower lows, we can put a trend line uh, to give us a little more confirmation. And then price action is something you should always be looking at because we are basically trading price action when we're doing this method of scalping. We're looking at the candles, the patterns they're forming, and the wicks that they're forming as well because another method that we're using is, is wick fill. If we have a, a large wick and we're in momentum at like the H1, the H4, or the daily time frame, it, it's pretty good bet that th that wick is going to get filled. We need to add that into our overall market analysis before we take a trade. Um, we're looking at our EMAs. Are they crossing? Are, are they not crossing? Have they already crossed? Or, or are they about to cross? And then uh, we're looking at price breakout. If price breaks through like a 50 EMA, that's 
going to be a good signal, especially if it's on the right side of the market. And then we're going to talk about EMA magnet trades, which is a specialty of um, Wix don't lie. No, I'm sorry. Um, EMAs don't work. He's one of the Forex family. Uh, you can find them on Instagram. Uh, you know, I'm not going to pretend that I made this, you know, that method up. But that's part of trading is you're finding things from other people that work for you or for your style. You add that stuff in. There's nothing wrong with that. As long, just make sure you give them the proper credit when you put it out into a video like this. So, I will never pretend that I know everything. I'm just putting it all together for you uh, to make it easier for you to be more successful as a trader, obviously. Okay. So this is a you know just a quick chart, obviously a, a label of everything that we just talked about. So we have our lines, our support, our support and resistance levels. Obviously, if they're above price, they're resistance level. If they're below price, they're support. And I color code mine so that I know if I'm looking at a daily, a four-hour or a one-hour support or resistance level because the higher the time frame, the stronger that level of support's going to be, and that's good to keep in mind as you look to enter a trade we have our EMAs all color coordinated as well so you can notice you know which one is what at a glance you know we've got our 200 our 10 our 50 and our 14 and then we have our zones our supply zone is obviously above price our demand zone is below price and then this one it was a demand zone until it got broken through and then it became a supply zone so that's just very very basic trading 101 all right. So, full circle scalping is just a name that I coined to encompass all of these methods put together as a full toolbox. You're not just using one, you're using all of them to give you the highest probability trade as possible. Okay? And now that includes both predictive and reactive trading. We've covered that in other modules. Predictive is when you expect for something to happen like price um, well it'd be more like if you're expecting the EMAs to cross like price might have already broken through the 50 and you're really expecting now the 14 and the 50 to cross that's predictive trading reactive trading is once the EMAs already have crossed if you're entering a trade after that then um, you know, that's obviously you're reacting to something that's already happened. Both have their pros and cons. We've already covered that in other modules. If you don't remember, go back and revisit those modules and it'll bring you back up to speed. Okay. Um, then we're bringing all of those previous separate met methods together. I've already taught, you know, covered that, that we're taking all the tools and we're using them together um, to give us the highest amount of confluence possible for taking a trade. Uh, speaking of which, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the confluence of price action plus market structure plus our dynamic support and resistance along with other things as far as um, currency strength. You know, you can always look at your, we'll, we'll be looking at currency strength meters, um, wick fills, magnets, all those things put together. You take that all into account. You crunch the numbers and then you make the best possible decision before you click that button okay before you make your decision to place an order or a trade you've done all of your homework first then you take that trade now whether you win or you lose nothing's guaranteed but what can be guaranteed is that your win-loss ratio is going to be much more in the win category if you take the time to do your analysis correctly before you take a trade even the best trades the even the ones that you analyze completely top to bottom and that look just absolutely like a hundred percent a winner you will have it you will have some that will lose that's part of the game but at least you did your your part and you did your homework so what we're looking for is Trades that have a small take profit and we're using larger lot sizes. Okay, so small moves, high lots, five to ten pips on your initial entry. You know, your second entry, you can let that run if you like. You know, we've covered that in the past. And you can use anywhere from half a standard to five standard lots to ten lots to, I mean, I've seen guys use, a, you know, 
20, just massive amounts of lots with huge leverage, but that's because they had the account to handle that type of um, a position. Use proper risk management. If your account can't handle even a standard lot, don't just try and ball out on your very first trade or you're going to, I'm going to have to sign you up for blown accounts anonymous, you know, BAA, we're going to have to put you on 12 step program because you will, you will have to introduce yourself to the group. And we've all blown trades. It's not a, it's not anything new. Everyone will, every good trader will have blown an account or two on his way to becoming successful. Just, uh, you know, avoid it if you have to, you don't have to give your money away in the beginning. So, and Last but not least, let me let me reiterate, this is a framework. This is a structured method that is by no means set in stone. This is not a concrete. This method can evolve with your trading style. Okay, I'm just giving you some tools. It's up to you to pick and choose which of these tools you want to use, what clicks most for you in your brain when you look at the market, and what works best for you with your trading style. And are there other tools that you want to bring in to add to this or take away? It's completely up to you. Your trading style is going to be your own. At the end of the day, you have to figure out what works best for you. But I'm going to show you um, a pretty solid method with everything that I've put together so far. And then you can take it and run with it. Trade as you like. All right. That's the overview. Now we are introducing a new concept today um, known as EMA magnets or magnet trades. Okay. And again, that's from, uh, if you want to check Instagram, his handle is EMAs don't work. Um, he puts out a lot of good uh, material on this topic. Basically it's the concept that price as it moves further away from the 14 or the 50 EMA that eventually gets pulled back, pulled back to that EMA like a magnet so hence it's that's why it's called a magnet trade so as you see price start to pull away a little bit it eventually gets pulled back that's your trade is from the bottom to the from the bottom here up it would be a buy up to the 14 okay same with here as it starts to pull away you can take a buy back up to the 14 sometimes you can take it all the way up to the 50 just depends on the market and price at that time now realize that this is a counter trend trade okay this is a counter trend trade style so it's a little bit riskier but you know that's that's part of counter trend trading is you're taking a little bit more risk but just know that you have that tool in your toolbox that weapon in your arsenal so let's talk about entries exits and risk management okay obviously like I said this video is, is just the structure and the boring dry part next couple videos we'll, we'll look at actual examples and some actual live trades okay I just need to give you the framework the rules are you're gonna determine the overall trend on your higher time frames you're gonna look at your daily and your h4 time frame okay that's also gonna give you some possible wick fills that you can look to take advantage of as well but you know what's what is price is it is it at a daily support or resistance level you know that's a good place to look to enter a trade at you know as you drop down into your lower time frames then you're gonna you will drop down and mark your levels of support and resistance some people like to do daily as well but I I suggest at a minimum h4 and h1 those are gonna be your strongest levels of support and resistance because as we've talked about in the past 15 minute support and resistance levels are broken very easily so not something that you want to bet your your hard-earned money on you're going to want to go with h1 h4 is even better if it hits one of those levels it's probably a good trade for either buying at support or selling at resistance and that's of course all we're doing and then you're going to mark your your relevant supply and demand zones on your m15 chart to give you your kind of depth of price based on you know the average of the wicks that are in that overall zone I think thought we close this out okay there we go got mt4 no noises going in the background now you're going to take an entry based on many different things but you're going to want to put as many of them together as possible we're going to look at the e the price breaking through the ema like the 50 we're going to look at price after the emas have crossed um, we're going to look at price if it breaks above 
in and out of the 14 EMA. That's always a, a good indication for a quick, uh, a quick scalp. Um, our hyper scalps are going to be our highest percentage wins, and that's going to be buying at strong support or selling at strong resistance. Okay, and then our EMA magnet scalps again. Those are going to be our counter trend trades. Now you can take those on um, a reversal back up to an EMA or back down to an EMA, depending on where the EMA is at. Uh, but make sure you're, you you pip and dip on that. Okay, get your five pips, even two or three pips, whatever. Just get some pips beyond whatever the spread is and then move your stop up to break even maybe you can let it run up to the 50 but just be very cognizant that you're taking a counter trend trade so price can very easily return back to the direction that it was already going once it if it gets rejected off the 14 or the 50 um, and again, trades, you're looking for 5 or 10 pips maximum from your initial position, your second position, because um, I, su I, I suggest opening up two, one for take profit, the other one, bring your stop loss up to break even once you hit your take profit and let it run, and just let it keep going until it closes back inside our 10 simple moving average. That is why we have it there, is this kind of our, our early warning uh, exit line, you know, once it hits that 10 SMA more than more often than not the trend is reversing and that's your early signal that just go ahead and get out of the trade grab your pips secure that bag and of course be mindful of any high impact news that's coming along you know don't be so uh, tunnel focused on the the pair that you're trading that you don't forget to check Forex Factory or MyFX book calendar and notice that um, Brexit is about to happen. Okay, <laughs> you don't want to get stuck in, in an EU trade um, when they do some type of a Brexit vote or, you know, the FOMC announcement or something like that. So just be mindful of any red folder news that's coming down the pike. Um, risk management's the same as always. I do not need to reiterate this for everybody. You guys know how to manage your own risk by now. If not, Go back to the other videos. I'll explain it much more there, but just, you know, it's pretty straightforward as far as managing your lot sizes based on your account size. Okay, that is it. Okay, like I said, it's it's not that difficult. It, we're just bringing together everything we already used in the past. So that's it for this module. The next module, I will go into some historical left of the chart trade examples and we can look at you know how price reacted woulda coulda shoulda trades you know and i'll show you in in the past examples of trades that you could have taken that have already happened you know and that's great sure fun times like i said anybody can do that there's no skill in that i just want to give you examples so you can see visually what i'm talking about and then our third and final module is going to be some actual live trading in a simulator and that that is where I will show you in real time, you know, quote unquote real time, um, how we look for trades and how we enter trades and how these, uh, excuse me, how these uh, concepts all come together in an actual market and not in a hypothetical market. So again, thanks for joining me. This has been module one of uh, ZenFX's full circle scalping method. I am Ryan with ZenFX. If you're not a part of our community on Facebook already please I got the link in the in the description of this video join us we have so much free stuff and training and oh just so much uh, benefit and value for you guys that we we give to you freely uh, come be a part of our family we'd love to have you if you're catching this replay on YouTube which you probably are uh, give me a like if this helps you at all and uh, subscribe to our channel to get future updates on videos as they come out so Again, to all my Zen FX family, I will catch you in the next module. And as always, let's get these pips. <laughs>